Hey you guys, so I'm going to be doing hopefully a quick collective haul. Um, this has been probably over the span of two to three weeks. Um, so to get started, about two to three weeks ago I went to Ulta and I had a gift card. And I kind of wanted to finish it up and I was thinking I wanted to finish it up buying some Butter London nail polishes because they're so talked about and they're supposed to be really good quality. So I wanted to give them a try. But every color I wanted, um, I wound up finding colors very similar to them. Um, so I wound up getting the cheaper ones and not buying any Butter London nail polishes. Um, so the first one was just a color that I thought was really pretty. And it's Essie's Stealing the Scene. Which, to me, looks like a version of OPI's Designer to Better. Um, except this doesn't have any glitter in it. Um, so it's just kind of a silver taupey champagne color and then I wanted to get um, Bunder London's Lady Muck but Essie had a color very similar to it called Fair Game and it's just kind of a gray blue with silver shimmer in it um, and this one I believe is a little darker than Lady Muck but it was close enough to warrant spending $8.50 instead of $14 Duh. And then I also wanted to try out Butter, Butter London's um, Bluey nail polish. And um, OPI had a color similar to it called Ostentatious Turquoise. Um, and I believe this one is lighter than um, Bluey by Butter London, but it was similar enough, of course. Then I went to. Walmart um, later that week and I bought some more nail polish. I also had a gift card to uh, Target and two, these two nail polishes were polishes I saw at Ulta as well um, and the first one I was actually going to get and it's Essie's Set in Stones which is just a chunky silver glitter um, and I was going to get this and I was like no I don't need it and then when I needed to like another nail polish to finish off the gift card. I was like, oh, I can get that, and someone had already taken it. Um, so, I got this at Walmart. And then I also got Essie's Pure Perfection, which is on my nails now, and it's just a pretty kind of shimmery white overlay color. And it just gives a nice kind of unexpected touch to your nails, um, so I found it really pretty. And then, the rest of this stuff I got the other day. Um, so first I went to Target, and of course I had to buy more nail polish. Um, so I got OPI's Louvre Me, Louvre Me Not, which, the Louvre in Paris, get it? Um, and this is just like a pretty purpley color, and it has like pink duochromes to it. It's really pretty. Um, so I'm glad I picked that up. And then I got also got OPI's Strawberry Margarita, which is just a hot creamy pink. Um, it's a typical color that I figured I'd spend $8.50 on for instead of like a buck twenty-nine, because I don't think of those things. And I also picked up another Revlon um, Lip Butter in Peach Parfait, which is on my lips right now. Um, it's just a typical kind of everyday color. It's just a peachy color with golden shimmer. Um, so yeah. Then I went to my hair salon to pick up the Nicki Minaj minis. And I wanted to get the minis before I bought any of the full sizes just to test out the colors. Um, so it has did it on them which is the green right there, which I know I won't buy a full size of because I never wear that color often enough. Then they have Fly, which is a pretty blue. Um, and I believe I will buy the full size of this. I'm not sure. Um, it depends on how it goes on. Pink Friday, just a typical bubblegum pink color. So I probably won't buy a full size of that. And this 
It says it's Metallic for Life, but I believe it's Save Me because Metallic for Life is a black base silver glitter, and this is just um, a rod, um, kind of like multicolored glitter with no base to it, so I believe this is Save Me, not Metallic for Life, which I'm bummed about because I really wanted to try Metallic for Life because that was the other nail polish I was thinking about buying the full size of. And then I went to a clothing store and I just picked up a gray inline skirt because I needed one. Um, and then I went to Walmart and I got two pairs of tights. This one is just a gray kind of striped one and then this one is a black mesh one kind of like fishnet tights. Um, and then also at Walmart I picked up a Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Orchid Hush, if I can open it. Um, and it's just kind of a pretty purpley color. And I bought this one out of all the colors because I figured I'd be safer getting this one because it wasn't a color I already had. And when I buy things like this I prefer to buy colors I don't have just because Buying colors I already have is pointless because I already have colors like that, so why have five different shade variants of a bubblegum pink? So I got Orchid Hush, and I like it. The consistency isn't really bouncy. It's just more of a memory foam, but if you want to see a review, let me know down in the comments. And then I also picked up the Color Tattoo 24-Hour Eyeshadows in Tough as Taupe because everybody talks about this color, so I figured why not get it, um, and I haven't used this yet, but I do like the consistency of it, as you could tell, I did swatch it, um, so if you want a review on any of these things here, um, granted there's not many things I could review on, just the lip butter and probably the bouncy blush and the cream eyeshadow, unless you want a review on the Nicki Minaj minis, um, so just let me know if you want a review of anything in this haul, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.